Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips and in this episode I'll be showing you how to use a clone tool to create a protractor much like the one we've got here. It's incomplete but uh, it's the divisions that uh, are the main uh, uh, example that I want to demonstrate today. So I'll control A to select all and delete and I'll start with the ellipses tool. Click on that and control shift to draw circle from the center outwards proportionally and before we go any further there's one setting that uh, makes things a bit easier in here if I go to edit preferences check under tools we've got visual bounding box you might have to change it from geometric you can change it back later if you prefer this I'll close that and with the Bezier pen tool I'll click up here and it's snapping if you haven't got the snapping behavior you expect perhaps uh, make sure these are highlighted, but I'll click once, hold down control, click and enter, and there's a division. Now I'm just going to go to fill and stroke because it's a bit hard to select the rotation center of such a thin stroke, so I'm just going to temporarily bump this up to a millimeter and zoom in. If I click again, I can now drag that little cross, which is the rotation center of the stroke, to the center of the circle. I didn't change that um, preferences to visual bounding box. That's hard to grab. It's too close to these other scaling arrows and Inkscape uh, creates problems. So I'll drag that now down to the center. Zoom out. Drag it until it snaps to the center. If it's not snapping to the center, make sure these are checked. Now I'm going to go back and reduce that down to say 0.4 millimeter. Now I'll click it again second time, yes, the center of rotation is now the center of the circle. I'm going to go up to edit, clone, create told clones, and under symmetry, I'm going to change to, let's say, um, if we wanted every 10 degrees, that means each one would be uh, 36 degrees. So I'll change it to 36, we want 36 10 degree markers. Under the shift, make sure the per column in the X is negative 100 and the rest as you see here. Scale can be left, rotation. Again, change the per column to 10 degrees. In other words, this value in here, the 10 and the, well, the 36 down here, they should multiply to 360. Now if I simply go create, you can see they're created instantly, which is a pretty powerful function. But uh, one of the great things about this is the ability to change the original and get all the others to follow suit. This one here is not the original, I've deleted, it's one of the clones. But now if I click on this one and say shorten it to there, all the others shorten, which is a fantastic feature. If I want the one degree settings, I'm just going to duplicate that, Control D, and I'll click it a second time because changing an object changes its center of rotation. See, there it is there. I want that back at the center of the circle, which is there. Now I've done it. I'm going to change the stroke width to a much thinner one for the one degree marks because they look, they have to fit in between the 10 degree marks. I'll change that down to 0 0.2 or 0 0.1. 0 0.1, let's make it. You can see that hasn't changed the center of rotation. Now if I go to the edit, clone, create tiled clones. Under symmetry I'm going to change this to 360 uh, columns. Under shift leave that the same. Under scale leave that the same. Rotation. Change this to one degree. I'll just uh, get rid of the zero there. Every one degree. And now if I click create. Uh, nothing happened for a second but then it did. And now I've forgotten to make them shorter, but I could have done that before and then changed the center rotation back to here, or I can change it now. Bear in mind that uh, the one that's highlighted there, if I click on top of that, you can see a thin one. Press delete a second, click on this one, that must be the original. I drag that up to say halfway, and after a short lag, the others follow suit. Click off uh, the diagram. So there's a quick way to change the protractor markings. Going back to this big thick one, I reckon that's a bit thick. 
So I'll just go to fill and stroke and change that to say 0.3 or even 0.2 is probably enough. And while I'm at it, just check the center of rotation. Second time, it's been changed for some reason. So I'll just drag that back to the center there. Actually, I probably didn't need to do that. Um, I just want to shorten this one. So if I shorten that, now that's too short. I'm going to turn the snapping off because it was snapping to halfway. Drag it to just a, a bit longer than the others, and all the others follow suit. So there's a quick way of creating a protract using the clone tool. Once again, thanks for watching.